A father of two, a hunky heartthrob, a self-confessed slob, a budding novelist and a mighty talented actor, these are only a few of the traits that make up Hollywood superstar Ethan Hawke. What the hell's going on? We thought he'd best to cut it off. Yo, I've been sitting in there for two hours. He must have made us. He must have made us? What does that mean? That means that means he saw you, he knows what's happening, he knows that I'm cooperating with the police? Take it easy. Okay? For Ethan, oh, his love of performing no, hey, began hey, on stage at age 13 when he was starring in school productions before he was cast in his first feature film. His career highlight came in 2002 when he was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Role in Training Day alongside Denzel Washington. We're professional anglers, okay? We go after the big fish. Ethan was married to fellow actor Uma Thurman. The pair fell in love while working on the futuristic DNA drama Gattaca in 1997. The following year, the star couple wed. It took Ethan two proposals until Uma finally agreed. The couple separated in 2003 amid rumors of an affair. The couple have two children and seem to be handling their differences amicably. In 2004, he had one of his best reviews in Taking Lives. Ethan played the role of Costa alongside Angelina Jolie in a story about a hunt for a serial killer. In 1995, he starred in Before Sunrise, and in 2004, that movie sequel, Before Sunset, opposite Julie Delphi. So things are going well for you, right? I mean, your book is a bestseller in the US. Yeah, it's a you're... tiny bestseller. I oh, mean, no, come on. Uh, all right, yeah, right, officially, yes. But I mean, you know, most people haven't read Moby Dick, you know, so why should they read my book? Well, I haven't read Moby Dick, and I like your book. With Precinct 13, Lord of War, and Fast Food Nation hitting cinemas in 2005 and 6, Ethan has been very busy. Then there's his career as a novelist and his push into directing. Seems Ethan Hawke is an all-round performer in the world of arts and entertainment. Even being alone, it's better than sitting next to a lover and feeling lonely.